The 79 Silverado, the big 10 edition. Whoever repainted this truck painted right over the sticker for some reason. Big 10 edition. Uh, we have uh, long bed, bed solid. There's no rust here or here. There's, I mean, there's a little bit maybe right here where they might have did some body work, but come on down here. This door here opens, closes good. Now right here we do have some a place where they did do a repair or tried to. Body work is horrible, but there's a spot right there where there was some rust that they fixed. It's got the Silverado badge. The hood needs adjustment. The hood hinges. But it's not a big deal. I just need to get around to doing it if I do. We have the front grill. It's in great condition. Front bumper's in good condition. It's got the push guards and the single headlights. Also has the nice factory badge there. On this side we have again a, a good badge. The tires again need to be replaced, I think, or at least balanced. I put rally wheels on it. We'll go here. Um, this door it opens and closes good. They don't sag, you know, the doors don't sag. We do have a small dent right here. Superficial. Again, the trim around the truck is good, but in places it's kind of pulled away. So I, if it was mine, if I kept it, I would pull that off and reattach everything. Uh, again, the fender wells are good. Um, the back tires have some tread, but not much. And then we do have a dent right here. You can see it starts here, goes into here, right there. Small or medium-sized dent that might be able to be pushed out. Okay, we have the nice big bumper with a hitch. And then uh, Alex is going to show the inside of the bed. It's a good average bed. Okay, Alex will come over here and we'll do this interior. Here we have the interior. First off, important to me is the tilt steering is solid. There's no no play in the in the tilt steering, uh, which is unusual because the truck is you can see it's fairly worn. So it is missing the cover here. The gentleman that had it before me, I think it's probably a neutral safety switch. But you have to turn the key, and then you got to reach over here to hit this button to to start the truck. Uh, but I bet you that neutral safety switch can be changed very easy. It's got uh, some tears in the seat. It's a factory seat. Again, the interior is in the below average shape, but uh, the headliner's good. And so, yeah, that's that part. Let's go do look at the motor. Good latch works well. So, here's what we got we got a, a, a uh, Optima battery. We have a brand new alternator, a brand new water pump, and a new power steering pump. The um, these are new, and it's got an Elderbrock carburetor. And I think it needs a original air cleaner. The air conditioner has been taken off by the previous owner. The hoses are here. The bracket is here. But the compressor's gone. I don't know why they did that. He said they pulled it off and then just never put it back on. It's got new shocks, new brakes. And so let's start it up. 